hello and welcome to another video in our last video we set up our Raspberry Pi with the uh, automatic setup as we uh, started our machine now in this today some of those things we may need to change for example our password or our internet connection so what I'm going to look at first because there's a icon for it here on the taskbar on the desktop we're going to have a quick look at uh, setting up our Wi-Fi to a different router. Although in this case for me it's just going to be a different band. The principle is still the same now. No, I've already done this once already. Because I made a bit of a mess of the previous video that I was attempting to do. So I've decided to start again afresh. So we might find that our password's already in there. Now, what we need to do is we need to find our router in the list. If you connect via cable via Ethernet or Ethernet, whichever you want to pronounce, fine by me. It won't matter, you won't need to do this. It's only if it's via Wi Fi, you'll connect automatically via cable. So we select our new option, and as we can see, our password is in, but for the sake of completeness, we'll input the uh, new password. Like so, you can either hit enter or OK. And it will disconnect then it will start to reconnect and when that is completed we'll have a quick look on the internet just to confirm that we are connected to the router so we'll open our browser as you can see I've already taken it to a couple of sites previously just to show that we can connect to the internet and there we go we're on YouTube now but we're not going to wait for that to open properly it was just to demonstrate that it was connected to the internet so we'll close that now what I did notice when I previously had a look at a couple of bits on my PC here sorry my Raspberry Pi is that my keyboard setup isn't right and it isn't right for me because it's American and I'm used to a UK layout on the keyboard so we'll see what we can do to sort that out so it won't be any of those but we'll have a look at preferences appearance now at keyboard and mouse we'll have a look at that keyboard ah yes keyboard layout and as we can see there we go it is American I want UK so we'll OK that okay and just to confirm now that it is as how I want it I just need to open up office and we'll have a quick type on the key that I need to check which is the at sign so I can touch type it when I'm doing uh, any email so we'll press our shift button it's near our enter button so at yeah and that's how I want it to be so it's our keyboard setup we won't save that because we don't need to um, we're going to look in the preferences again because we would like to see about the password that we set up originally so let's see print settings configuration probably and here we go it's on the uh, first page on the first tab so we'll have a look at that and I'm surprised to see there isn't a confirm all password but anyway we'll uh, change that to something new and see what happens and if it requires us to do anything else so we've changed that we'll just have a quick look while we're here I don't need to do any of this because I'm happy with how things are um, not connected no idea we'll have a look at these another day if we need to performance I don't need to change anything at the moment localization right as we had to change our keyboard we might as well have a look oh we can do it here as well if we need to we'll have a look and just make sure everything else is correct which it appears as though it isn't so we'll just adjust them to suit me is that time zone I looked at no we must have been set local set keyboard that's fine now set Wi-Fi country that's fine okay no I'll do that later and I'll just see if it affects it when we restart if it it needs to be done there and then on that screen or if we can just restart it and it'll automatically do it now 
with having said i've already looked at a couple of bits there's something else i've picked up and that is audio so i just need to go on to the internet again open that up we'll go back to youtube and open this up and we'll just choose the first video which is this one here now the audio you're hearing is actually coming direct from my monitor not from the video capture it's being picked up by the mic so i'll just move the mic away to show that uh, obviously it's not quite right for what we're wanting here and hopefully you should notice a difference in the sound from me and from the monitor and then it should now be a bit louder that it's moved back to it so we'll have a look at sorting that out now i did identify this at the time when i was looking into what was going on and it turns out it's on the volume control here that we need to do it's a right mouse click and we select the appropriate hdmi output for this response hell they even had the price advantage needless to say building its market for two years in the u.s had finally paid off and sega was ready to take its place as the leader of the 16-bit revolution with sonic finished sonic team split into two groups some went on to the u.s to begin work on sonic 2 while some stayed behind in japan like so and uh, that's basically how you alter how your audio is which line it's coming out of depending on what you're needing it for if it's you've got one plugged into a projector and you've got one plugged into your monitor so as you can see what's going on whilst you're doing for other people uh, uh, with say a project going on in a classroom or something like that so although this video is fairly basic and i'll admit not quite so brilliant again but much better than the last one um, I think I'll draw that one to a close. I'll have a look, a look at a couple of the other issues that uh, I may need to look at and how I can help you with these, setting up some other bits and bobs. So thank you very much again for watching today. Take care and enjoy your Raspberry Pi.